I invent a sweat Popping bottles, putting supermodels in a cat Proof I guess I got my sweat Hey guys, I'm gonna jump right in. So first I start off with my soft ochre paint pot. I've already done this and then I just set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it makes your eyeshadows easier to blend out. I'm gonna go in with this transition color um, from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm gonna use my MAC 217 brush to put this right above my crease and this is gonna uh, basically be our transition color today and I'm gonna just keep blending that out and I am taking this dark brown color and I'm going to use that same brush and pack that in the outer V. Um, I couldn't show you guys all the blending because it would take so long, but um, I'm just packing that in the outer V and then dragging it into my crease area. Just making it really um, dispersed and I don't know, what to call it? <laughs> um, and yeah, now I'm just packing that same color on, just layering colors. So usually I go from lightest to darkest and I usually put the darkest colors in my outer V. So yeah, now I'm going to take this darker brown color in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pack that in the outer V of my eye and blend it out with that same MAC 217 brush. I'm just putting it a little bit lower than the other brown color, that's all. So you just want to layer your colors up. So now I'm going to go in with this blending brush and just blend the transition colors and the brown colors together so that there are no harsh lines out there on the outer V type area. <laughs> and after that, what I'm going to do is use, this is Fix Plus in this bottle, and I'm going to use um, this color from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to kind of swipe this all over my lid area. And the reason why I swipe it, um, especially with like foiled colors like this, like shimmery type colors, I usually like to pack it on like this because um, the color payoff comes off better and I don't know, I just like it more I guess because I used to just pack it on and it wouldn't be as pigmented. So you just want to make sure everything's blended out so I'm just going to blend that outer V color with the lid color with that same MAC 217 brush so let's pause for a second okay. So I absolutely love this palette and I want one of you guys to have it so I purchased one with my own coin and I want you guys to have it. So one of you guys are going to win. You have to live in the United States though. I'm only shipping it to US of A and check the description box for details on how you can win. So check the description box. All the details are there. All right. All right. Let's get back to it. So now I'm going to go in with this color um, and I'm going to use like a flat um, like eyeliner brush and I'm going to just pretend to make a wing like a wing liner type thing uh, on my eyelid and this is just going to make it so that it's a little bit more smoky because I'm going to add black on top of it. So yeah I'm just basically creating a wing with the dark brown eyeliner. You really can't see it that much in the video but you can see it in person. Oh and I needed to blend so I just took a blending brush and just blended. So now I'm going to take this Anastasia black eyeshadow and I'm going to create a wing. So if you have trouble with like liquid eyeliner I would try using tape like I do. Um, sometimes use tape and then just use a eyeshadow like a black eyeshadow and kind of do your wing like this because it gives you a guide and it's a lot easier and it's harder for you to mess up so basically that's all I do right here and then after that I'm just going to blend it out so I have the brown as a base underneath the black and then I'm just going to kind of smoke it out with the uh, brownish color I think so yeah I'm just creating a wing so now I'm going to go back in with that brown color that I used to like for my eyeliner base, I guess. Um, and I'm going to take like a regular eye sh like eyeshadow brush, I guess, and just blend that out so that it's a little bit more smoky at the top. So I'm just adding some more of that brown and just smoking out the liner. This is my attempt at a smoky liner. I guess it came out okay, but you know, a girl's just practicing, you know? <laughs> So basically I just keep going in with the black and the brown and smudging it out until it looks the way I want it to look. So like right now I'm just going to go back in with the brown and just smudge out the color a little bit to make it a little bit more smoky. Now I'm going to use that color in the palette, the shimmery color, and put it in the tear ducts of my eyes to open up my eyes a little bit. And I'm using a pencil brush to do that just so that I don't poke myself in the eye and... Yeah, it's a lot more precise. So now I'm going to go in with my Goddess Lashes by Coco Lashes, and I'm going to put those on. These are very dramatic lashes, but they're very pretty. Um, when I don't, like, wear eyeshadow, I usually don't wear these because they are very dramatic. And, like, if I'm going all out, I'm going to have to do eyeshadow and wear these lashes. So um, 
I'm gonna tightline my waterline with um, Feline by MAC, their eye coal. I love this. this, is the only one that doesn't mess like with my contacts and stuff like that. And these contacts are Desio eyes, by the way. So now I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown shadow that I used on my eyelids, and I'm gonna take um, that brush that I used for my eyeliner, and I'm going to smudge out that brown color on my waterline, well, underneath the waterline <laughs> on my eye. So now I'm taking Max Chestnut Lip Liner, and I'm going to line my lips with it. Um, I don't know why I do this. I have to line my lips almost every time I use a lipstick or anything, a lip gloss, anything. So I'm going to go in with Anastasia's Potion Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips. And that's basically it for the makeup tutorial part. If you want to see a foundation routine and all that, I'll put the link down below. So for my hair today, I'm wearing a Eva wig and it, this was sent to me basically just to try out and show to you guys. I really love this wig. It was a custom unit made specifically for my head. So if you do want a wig that's custom to your head size, um, the hair color that you want and um, what kind of hair you want and all that stuff, you can check out evawigs.com. The hair is so soft. Um, I did wash the hair. I has, did not cut it or anything. This is how the wig came like almost right out of the box. It came almost identical to this. I just curled the front a little bit and that's really it guys. Um, so if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'm just straightening it out right here. So leave your questions down below. Don't forget to um, enter into the giveaway. The info is in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a good one and that's it. Bye guys.